Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Today we have an easy one. Topic 1.6 is all about end behavior and polynomial functions. First the notation, then how to find them. So let's start with talking about what end behavior is. End behavior is exactly what it sounds like. It describes how the graph ends on both the left and right side. The notation we use for this is called limit notation. Let's start with this graph. First we need to see where x ends. You see on the right, x increases without bound, and on the left, x decreases without bound. This means x will be going to positive and negative infinity. We write that in limit notation like so. Then we need to examine what y is doing when x is doing these things. So we need to write on both of them f of x equals to symbolize that. Now what is f of x or y doing? Let's start with when x approaches infinity. You see that y is also increasing without bound, therefore it is approaching positive infinity. Now what is f of x or y doing when x approaches negative infinity? You'll see y increases without bound toward positive infinity. This means that our answers would be positive infinity. And this right here is the end behavior for this graph. And real quick, before we move on to how to find this in equations, just so you know, if the end behavior has a minus in the exponent of it, it means the end behavior as it comes in from the left of the graph, and a plus means as it comes in from the right side of the graph. Now let me teach you a trick to find end behavior just from an equation. All you need to find is the degree of the equation and whether or not the leading coefficient is positive or negative. Then just reference the table below. The fact is, you will always have at the start of your end behavior equations the limit as x approaches infinity and the limit as x approaches negative infinity. This table shows what y would equal under the different scenarios. For example, in this equation the degree is odd but the leading coefficient is negative. Referencing the table, I just plug in the y values from it so my answers would be the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x would equal negative infinity, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x would equal positive infinity. Memorize this table and you will be all set to go. Now on the screen now are all the questions you should be able to answer for this video. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.